Hi, welcome to another Honest Review. Today you find me still in lockdown, tucked away in um, one of the bathrooms at the back of our house because, um, you know, everybody, they're either gaming or my husband's out vacuuming leaves up in the back garden. So this is the quietest spot I can find. I hope it's not too echoey. But uh, today I wanted to share the results with you at the six month stage of my UL therapy treatment. So I've already done a couple of videos and I'll link to in the video description. Firstly, showing the treatment. I had it at the Face and Body Clinic in Edinburgh and um, it was carried out by Dr. Victoria Dobie. She um, has the treatment herself. Um, and so I could tell from her skin that there was a good chance this would work. Um, the idea with UL therapy is that it uses ultrasound technology to um, stimulate deeper layers of skin with the idea that they're tightened um, and that your skin generally is rejuvenated. Over that six month period, you should be producing more collagen and the results should continue to unfold. And they should also last about 18 months. Now, the thing with all therapy is it isn't cheap. So here in the UK, you could expect to pay around £2,000 for a full face treatment. I was extremely lucky because I was offered the chance to review this um, independently on this channel. So that first video that I'll link to shows you the treatment. Um, and the second video shows you um, the results at the three month stage. Going back to that first treatment, one of the surprising things about all therapy actually is that uh, you, there is no downtime. So you get a treatment which uh, rivals a facelift, not, the, not as dramatic results, but is there as an alternative to a facelift. And you can walk out of the clinic and go back to work. The treatment itself is uncomfortable, not all the time, but quite a lot of the time you're feeling there's almost like a current under the skin and you know I was squirming in places so they tell you to take um, ibuprofen um, a couple of hours before you arrive uh, to help deal with some of that discomfort it certainly having seen the results would not put me off going back when I came out of the clinic and I looked in my car mirror I could immediately see a lifting of the jawline. So I am 47. I had started to notice some sagging around the mouth and definitely some sagging under the jawline. And it had started to really annoy me. You know, I was, I was using um, like highlighter and, um, you know, trying to contour under here with bronzer. It was getting harder and harder to cover it up. And I have to say immediately after the old therapy, there was a lift under here. And um, the results continued to develop over time, just as I was told. I'm gonna to show you here now, the before and after shot alongside each other. And we just took the after shot this morning. Don't be too alarmed when you see the before shot, the little bruising under my eyes, it was sustained in the name of vanity and it was nothing to do with the oil therapy. That's all I'm saying. That was a shot that I took last summer uh, before another treatment, um, which just showed, I thought very nicely, the extent of the dip under my chin. So, you know, we're a year on now um, from when that shot was taken and six months from the all therapy treatment. And I think, you know, you can, there's just such a clear difference. And one of the things I'm so pleased about um, is this area here, there's this sort of sagging that had started to develop, um, which just gives you a bit of an older, tired look, has gone. And um, the bulging beneath here, I mean, what a stark difference. But I just saw across my face in the after picture, I think that the skin has taken on a tighter, more youthful texture to it, really. Uh, it's fuller um, and it is more youthful looking skin. I have 
no injectables in my face at all at the moment. So, I mean, this is it. This is the, the only th thing accounting for the younger looking skin is the all therapy. You know, my mum had said as well that she noticed, um, this is independently, she was just saying to me the other day, you know, that my cheekbones were a bit more prominent. So I just think it's, it's given me um, a bit of a youthful bounce, which, you know, I love. It is a shame about the cost. Presumably over time, as, as so many of these things do, it will probably become more accessible and affordable, um, particularly as new technologies come on and so on. So I think this is a really exciting development that rather than going under the knife, um, we can have a treatment like this every couple of years um, uh, to keep our skin looking a little bit more youthful, a little healthier. I know that often when I do reviews like this and I'm looking at, you know, collagen injections and these kind of uh, cosmetic treatments that are designed to make you look younger, it, it can make me sound a bit vain and, you know, obsessed with trying to turn back the years. There's a lot that's good that comes with ageing and I don't think that I want to look 25. I just don't want to look, and it's an overused term I know, but I don't want to look tired. And I think, you know, when you get the heavier frown lines and you start to get the sagging, that can be quite hard to avoid. And knowing that there's something you can do about it means that I do take that action. So when it comes to weighing up the whole experience then, um, you know, balancing the cost at £2,000 against the result, um, I've got to say that when I compare it to a facelift, which would have been more expensive, probably would have given um, more dramatic, uh, potentially longer lasting results. But remembering that a facelift isn't rejuvenating the skin, it is simply snipping and tightening. And also the danger being with a facelift that uh, if you over tighten, you're going to have that false look, you know, for the rest of your days, basically. So this offers a more natural alternative. It's expensive you would have to repeat it every couple of years, 18 months to a couple of years. Um, so it's a considerable cost, but we have to assume that that cost will come down over time as new technologies emerge. As far as value for money goes, at this stage, considering it's new technology, um, I think it's been worth it for me. Um, I know I didn't have to pay that, but I would be, if I could club the money together, I would have this done again. Um, it, it has made such a difference, I think, to my skin. There is a mix of things I try and put into place in my life, including eating well, staying active, um, and using good skincare, and trying out treatments like this to basically try and feel and look as good as I can for as long as I can. Because I think that is part of um, getting the most out of life. And so it's been fantastic to try something like this and to be able to give you an honest uh, opinion as to the results. But I think the before and after pictures really speak for themselves. I think it's, it's just so reassuring to know that there's something that we can do to make a visible difference to our skin. Um, me, age 47, uh, that doesn't involve going under a knife um, having a general anaesthetic, doing something as radical as that. And I think that it has given me um, a more natural uh, but youthful result. I hope you've found this uh, review helpful. Um, I know that a lot of you have been commenting along the way asking me how the old therapy is going. Um, so, you know, I have no problem in recommending it to you. And I would love if you do try it, please um, share your results with me and let me know how you get on. Um, there are lots more reviews like this one on the channel, including uh, Tixel treatment, which was a heat treatment I had around the eyes. I'm so far on four of five treatments um, and I'll link uh, to those videos as well so you can have a look for yourself. In fact, I had my third Tixel treatment when I had the first all therapy session. So you can watch the two together. There's also product reviews uh, ranging from beauty to household appliances and lots more. So do check out the channel and um, I hope you'll like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.